How's it going, everybody? And welcome to PlayStation's Crossbar, your home of everything FIFA related. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just a football fan, we have you covered here on PlayStation's very own Crossbar show. You are joined by myself, as always, Brandon Smith. And the man that's next to me, normally in person, but virtually now, somewhere in the United Kingdom, Richard Buckley. Rich, welcome back to another Crossbar episode. And first and foremost, how have you been keeping? Because FIFA 21 has been out for over a month now. So I'm guessing your team's looking pretty tasty at the moment. I've been playing a lot of FIFA 21. Great to be back here with PlayStation on another episode of Crossbar. This is where it's sort of like the the culmination we had the back end of last year and now we go again this is where it all starts again fifa 21 is here and look i've been really really enjoying the game i've been loving it in fact there's been um a couple of things that have been tweaked and nerfed and patched and i think the game is in a really good state at the minute i'm enjoying playing fifa 21 i've seen a lot of people enjoying play for playing fifa 21 and you know honestly brandon I'm looking forward to talking about it. Yeah, well, definitely. If you are a first time here at Crossbar, we'll be talking about the latest news in the FIFA world, the Open Series, the PlayStation Open Series, where you guys have your chance to compete and win some serious money. And last but not least, the man said it himself, he's enjoying FIFA 21. We'll be going to Richard for his latest tip on the game of FIFA this year. But without any further ado, we've got a packed show to get into. So let's jump straight into the news. <laughs> Well, as I touched upon, Richard, FIFA 21 has been out for just over a month now. And that means that we've had time to play the game as casuals. The pros have had time to play the game. And there's been a lot of tournaments, and a lot of initiatives that have been run and activations since FIFA 21 hit the streets. What do you want to kick it off with today, Rich? Because there's been quite a lot, hasn't there, in the last month? There has indeed. There's been a, a couple of pre-season tournaments as well for the first time ever, sort of giving the uh, opportunity to watch FIFA, to watch competitive FIFA to a much wider audience. It wasn't part of a global series. It wasn't part of different tournaments. It was sort of an exhibition. Um, the first one that took place was the Twitch Rivals tournament. This was a tournament that took place on Twitch TV, and in the final, it was Bateson who won the tournament, beating Castro, two of the biggest FIFA content creators on the planet, Bateson beat Castro seven goals to three, but that wasn't it because YouTube got involved as well. And we had the FIFA 21 challenge, Brandon. Yeah, we did indeed. Again, it was an event that we were both involved in the FIFA 21 challenge. It mixed professional FIFA players and professional footballers. As you can see there, uh, Gravison and Tex went head to head. Gravison, a band that we've had on the PlayStation Crossbar show before many, many moons ago. And uh, yeah, we had the chance to commentate on this one. It was actually Ian Wright, an Arsenal legend that joined me on the commentary booth for the grand final. This was how the final played out between Tex and Gravison. But let's just say it was the Trent against Declan Rice game that really finished off that final. Because if you didn't know, as I said, it was a pro footballer and a pro FIFA player linked together. And I mean, if Tex is involved in anything, he always seems to come out with the trophy. But on this case, it was $20,000 donated to a charity of their choice, which is a really special touch from EA and everybody involved in the FIFA 21 challenge. And let's not forget, Brandon, as well, over 300,000 live concurrent viewers yeah. were watching this tournament. It was huge, and it gives us a real good indication and a positive way, a positive trajectory on how FIFA 21 is looking. Well, I mean, speaking about the Global Series, Richard, we are about to head into our first tournaments for the year, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. Of course, we're going to be heavily involved this year. You've seen some of those pre-season tournaments that have happened. We are going straight into competitive FIFA in the month of December, kicking off with the first event of the month, which is going to take us to South America. We're going to be involved in that one. You've got West Asia, you've got Oceania, and you've got Europe. I'm looking forward to seeing what names are going to rise to the surface, Richard, for the first month, because... Off the top of my head, you know, you're looking across the board of PS4 pros. It's difficult to know at the moment who's going to be sort of the cream of the crop. Absolutely, yeah. All those tournaments will be taking place. But there's one player in particular that has rose to the top. But unfortunately, he can't compete yet. And that is Anders Brandon. Uh, Anders Virian, I believe. Um, yeah, that's how we're going for it. He's 180 and 0 on foot champions. And he can't even compete. Tell the people, Brandon, a little bit more about Anders. Yeah, Anders Wergerg. I mean, this guy is 14 years of age. 
it's just an incredible store. If you don't know the story at the moment in terms of competitive FIFA, many different games have different age limits to compete. For EA and FIFA at the moment, it's 16 years of age to play in the Global Series and to compete for money, the FIFA E World Cup, all of the, the pride that comes along with it. But this guy, he hit his first 30, you know, when he was 12 years of age, Richard. And now he's just gone on an incredible streak of 180 and 0. If he does it again this coming weekend, of course, Crossbar sure will be out before then. We're going to be seeing potentially 210 and 0. And it makes you question how much further can this streak go on from this guy? Another fact for you apparently, when he was five years of age, Richard, he was playing FIFA 11. I mean, we played at a young age, but not that, that, not that young. Yeah, unbelievable. And all the best to Anders. Hopefully he carries on, keep keeping on hitting these 30s and conti can continue. I'm hoping that this isn't his peak right now. Hopefully he continues to get better and better and better. And when he is 16 and he can compete, he is at the very top. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, the great thing is as well, he's involved with Red Bull Leipzig that have picked him up at a really young age. So hopefully he will continue to sort of, uh, you know, develop. And when he does hit 16 years of age, hopefully we'll see him as one of the big PS4 names uh, in the global series. But let's talk about one more bit of news, Richard. We're going to talk about in-game FIFA. We've got a new icon. He's coming to FIFA 21. He formed an esports team. We'll talk about that in a second. But who is it, Richard? It's David Beckham. He's coming to FIFA 21. David Beckham is here and, and what a player he is, a, a true icon in, in the word, um, a fashion icon, a footballing icon and you actually can get your hands on David Beckham as well because between December the 15th and January 15th, uh, you can receive an untradeable, one of a kind David Beckham item into your foot squad. You can see it there on the screen. It's from his Real Madrid season. So this is a Real Madrid David Beckham one of a kind foot item. David Beckham will be joining the cast of the Icons on December 4th with his base, mid and prime. So December the 4th, Beckham's out. But if you want that foot item, you've got to play FIFA between December the 15th and January 15th. Is he going into your team, Rich? Is there a little bit of space for him on the wing? I'll make space for David. I mean, I can't wait to see some of these free kicks in game as well. You can just imagine. But it's not only David Beckham that's been in the news for sort of becoming an icon in the game of FIFA 21. He's actually founded an esports organization as well called Guild Esports. And they've got a very famous face on their books at the moment, Nicholas Razek, of course, a Foot Champions Cup winner uh, late last year in 2019. Of course, that was on FIFA 20. Great to see Richard, another professional footballer or an ex pro, I should say, come into the esports scene and just give it a bit more publicity, another big name in the space. And again, you know, picking up some of the, the, the top FIFA talent in the world at the moment. Absolutely, yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing how Guild Esports um, sort of fill out their roster as well. We've only one player on it at the minute. I'm sure everybody at Guild, including Nicholas Razet, will do great things in FIFA 21. I'm looking to see how that organisation flourishes. Well, I think that wraps it up in terms of the news segment today. We've spoken about eSports, this 14-year-old Danish wonderkid, and of course, David Beckham coming to FIFA 21. So with that being said, let's head over to the PlayStation Open series. Well, I mean, the biggest news for this, Richard, is that we're going to FIFA 21. First and foremost, the PlayStation Open Series is going to FIFA 21. We are going to be involved in this one. We can't wait. We love commentating on the Open Series finals where you sort of find, as you said, the best of the best, where they come out, they, they battle out for a $1,000 prize pool. The winner not only calls themselves the, the European or the North American uh, monthly champion, but they get $400 in their back pocket, some serious FIFA points, Richard. And if people are out there don't know about the Open Series, could you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely, yeah. It's sort of the bridge between uh, amateur player and pro player. It's for the aspiring player. It's for the player wanting to build the confidence, wanting to get reps in playing FIFA 21, playing at a competitive level. So all you got to do, go to uh, compete.playstation.com, sign up, link your ESL account and your PlayStation Network account. And literally, that is all you have to do. You can sign up, probably takes five, ten minutes max. You sign up, you join through the PS4 and you can be playing. It's literally as simple as that. And to be honest, the, the big thing for me, we saw pretty similar names, I would say, in the Open Series in FIFA 20. Are we going to see those same names coming back? Or with it sort of starting out the Open Series pretty much at the beginning of the FIFA cycle, are we going to see more recognisable 
FIFA names? Are we going to see more pro players potentially seeing the Open Series and saying, that's good experience, that's good practice, I fancy a bit of that. So a real sort of um, cacophony of all things happening right now. and I'm looking forward to seeing how it progresses. Yeah, well, that being said, Richard, as you said, the first FIFA 21 uh, PlayStation Open Series Finals will be on the 30th of November. You can find that over on PlayStation's YouTube channel and Twitch channel, where you can join me and Richard from 9 a.m. PST and 5 p.m. GMT time. That will be. So come and join us. Come and see who's going to be the winner in November. As you said, this will be a monthly tournament, which will progress uh, month after month. And fingers crossed, as you said, Richard, we'll find even new talent, all those same names coming up and uh, hopefully doing just as good on FIFA 21. Well, that being said, that wraps up the PlayStation Open series. A bit of a mouthful there, if I can get it out. Um, Compete.playstation.com. Get yourselves involved. I know Richard already mentioned that. And we're coming towards the end of the show now. Of our last segment of it, I think it's time for Richard's Tips. Well, Richard, I think this is your third edition of Rich's tips. You've enjoyed this so far. I still don't know how this is part of the show, but I'm going to just roll with it at the moment. What have you got for us this week? So we're moving to FIFA 21 with the Open Series, and people might not know what formation to play. They might not know what instructions, tactics. So basically what I've done, we've chosen the most recognisable team in head-to-head -head FIFA, that's France, and I've gave you a step-by-step -step breakdown of what formation to play, what instructions, and what tactics to use. Have a little look at this. Well, 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 FIFA 21 is here, and boy, do we have some changes. The gameplay has changed, the way that the runs are made in the final third, the entire game has changed. But one thing hasn't changed, and that is who the go-to team are in FIFA 21, head to head. Yes, you might have guessed it right, it is France. This is how I would like to line up with France in-game. We're going to go with the formation firstly. It's going to be a 4-2-3-1 narrow. The player selection, Mbappe, central striker. Ben Yedder at Cam. Kingsley Coleman at Ram. This year, no Usman Dembele, the five-star, five-star boy wonder, has been replaced by Anthony Martial. He's going to be cutting in from that left cam area. Your two CDMs, these two are a formidable duo, Kante and Pogba. And the back four, couple of changes. The centre-backs, Langley and Varane, they're exactly the same. Lloris is in goal. However, we've got the addition of Ferland Mendy. He's going to be playing right back because he has a four-star skill move and a five-star weak foot, meaning that he's left-footed, but with that five-star weak foot, he can play right back. Digne is going to be our left back. On the bench, Griezmann can come off and also Ferram to add some pace in the final third. In the tactics, we're going balanced, four width, four depth. Here, uh, we've got five width on the offense, four players to get into box, two on corners, and two on free kicks. And in the instructions, this is where it gets very technical. Mbappe, stay central, get in behind. All three cams are on stay forward. You want them to stick to position. You want them to have their balanced crossing runs on default. You don't want them flooding the box, but you don't want them always on the edge. Two CDMs, stay back or attacking. Fullbacks, stay back or attacking. If you're playing FIFA 21, you want to be using France just like that. And there we have it, Richard's tips for another episode of Crossbar. And to be fair, as much as I give you a hard time, Richard, clearly these tactics and these tips are working in your favour because have a look at this. You've got a leap. Two, uh, like a couple of weeks ago. And I mean, you've only been playing the game for like two or three weeks. Yeah, we've had, I think, five weekend leagues thus far. Uh, I went 23 wins, 24 wins, 25, 26. And then last week we, we checked out at Gold War and we hit 20 and sort of just put it to one side uh, for the weekend. But yeah, I've been enjoying it. I've been, I've been using that formation, using those custom tactics and been having a lot of success as well. So try it. Let us know on social media if it does improve your game and hopefully I get to see you in the Open Series. I was going to say, I'm surprised that you're not playing in the Open Series, Richard, with the talent you've been showing us so far. Incredible stuff. Good luck with that. Hopefully you can uh, clutch yourself an Elite One at some point uh, this year. But that is a wrap for today's episode of Crossbar. We've spoken about everything 
that is happening in the world of FIFA 21. We've teased you with the Open Series. Come and join us on the 30th of November over on the YouTube channel or Twitch channel of PlayStation. And hopefully we'll be having a, a good evening worth of FIFA 21 action there. As you said, keep an eye on this man next to me, Richard Buckley. Fingers crossed he might be hitting Elite One before the next time we see you. Uh, but that's a wrap, Richard. Another great episode, done and dusted. I mean, before we know it, we're into the Christmas period now. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing the Open Series in November and December. And November 30th, make sure you stop by and watch the first Open Series monthly finals on FIFA 21. Awesome stuff. And yeah, Richard, once again, thank you so much for joining me. He's been Richard Buckley. I've been Brandon Smith. And we have been The Crossbar Show here at PlayStation. Until next time, we'll see you all soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.